Welcome back to another Mobile Minute. So, foot traffic in front of stores is down, but the percentage of people who go in is up, right? Yeah, I just got some really interesting data from a company called Euclid uh, that I've, I've been aware of for some time. Uh, but they just analyzed 20 million shopping sessions, and they have these sensors in, in more than 700 shopping centers, malls, and stores around the U.S. And these sensors can sense basically when a phone is going by, so they can tell essentially if you look at the window display and then if you go in and if you go in where do you go in the store it's all anonymous so that there are no privacy issues here um, one of the interesting stats they found was what's called bounce rate that they call it's the number of shoppers who enter a store but leave within five minutes and they found that that has increased to 11 percent uh, it was nine percent last year so that means that a lot of stores have basically five minutes or fewer to essentially cause a transaction. Uh, the, kind of the good news is the overall mean time spent for a person in a store is 22 minutes. That's also slightly shorter than last year. So people seem to be more focused. They're getting much more mobile savvy, if you will. So they're researching, they know what they're going, they know where they're going and they know what they're going for. Another new study came out uh, from Social Mantic found that mobile consumers are more than four times as likely to be influenced by targeted ads. It's 22% versus 5%. So the opportunity here is to target these people who are going into stores and not walking by and providing information that's really useful and relevant. So that provides value for the customer. Yeah, one of the biggest challenges is getting somebody in the store. The second biggest challenge is getting somebody to spend money. So the retailers are capturing the consumer. They're just not capturing their dollars, right? That's right. And we know from other research that the consumer in the store, the majority want to get information from their smartphone or, or tablet, not from the salesperson. So that's yet another challenge for the merchant.